Have you ever wondered what happens to that bite of food once it disappears inside you? It's not just disappearing, it's starting a 24 to 72 hour journey through a 30 foot long tube. Digestion actually starts before you even swallow. Your teeth smash the food, but your saliva is the real hero here. It contains enzymes like amylase that immediately start breaking down chemicals in the food, turning complex carbs into simple sugars. Once you swallow, you aren't controlling it anymore. Muscles in your esophagus push the food down in wave-like motions called peristalsis. Even if you stood on your head, the food would still reach your stomach. Welcome to the stomach. This is the mixer. Here, food is bathed in gastric juices, a mix of hydrochloric acid and enzymes. This acid is so strong it could dissolve metal, but your stomach has a special lining to protect itself. For the next few hours, the stomach turns this mixture until it turns into a thick liquid called chyme. Now the chyme enters the small intestine. This is where the magic happens. The liver sends down bile to break down fats, and the pancreas sends juices to neutralize that stomach acid. As the food travels through this 20-foot tube, millions of tiny finger-like projections called villi line the walls. They act like sponges. They grab nutrients, vitamins, minerals, proteins, carbohydrates, and pass them directly into your bloodstream. By the time the food reaches the end of this tube, your body has taken everything it needs to keep you alive. What's left? Mostly water, fiber, and waste products your body couldn't use. This enters the large intestine, or colon. Here, your body reclaims the water, recycling it back into your system so you don't get dehydrated. Billions of friendly bacteria live here. They help break down remaining fiber and even produce vitamins like vitamin K. Finally, the remaining waste hardens and is stored in the rectum until, well, you know the rest. And that is how a simple sandwich becomes the energy that powers your life.